Hello, it is me, YouTube Rebel. Oh my goodness. Icon right here in my screen. Anyways, I feel like a beauty guru because my stepmother got my nails done. I feel like I could claw someone's face out. And I did my makeup. <laughs> Anyways, it's, 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 I'm doing a social experiment. Anyway, I'm doing a social experiment where one day I'm going to wear makeup and then see how society looks at me. And then another day, I'm going to... Sister, please stop. And then another day, I'm going to be normal, you know, my normal self. Hoodie, put my hair up, hide my gender. Yeah. Anyways. <coughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to be my normal self. And see how society thinks of me then. What I've figured out from this, from past experiences with wearing another face, which, you know what, I should probably do that right now while I'm talking to you. Don't mind me. Look at my giant zit on my face. That's what we should do. Anyways, what I figured out is that people actually tend to come to me more when I look like something they want me to look like. And I find that stupid because. Society should just like you for you. And I'm going to go on a deep topic here. Uh, because I was just talking with my mom. And she's cool. Seriously. Best mom ever. Ever. <laughs> ever. Best mom ever. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Stepdad. Anyways. So basically, what I'm going to talk about is sexuality, society, and differences. First topic. Sexuality. So, sexuality lately is very, very, what's the word? Put down on. That's not a word. That's a few words. Anyways, so society is very, is very mean towards people who like the same sex. And I don't understand why. Maybe because it's not a part of the social norm. Okay? And I don't understand why being a part of the social norm is a big part of life because my dad told me today when I was wearing makeup. Sorry, dad. I love you. Um, I went up to him and said, dad, I'm doing a social experiment. I told him everything I was doing. And he came up to me and said, oh, I like you in makeup. And I feel that you would succeed better in life if you wore makeup and dressed how you, how society wanted you to. That's not what he said, but I'm just going to sum it up like that. And I'm looking at him and like, in my head, I'm just like, what? <laughs> okay, because if you know me, I dress differently all the time. Okay, I can go from beauty guru to total gothic emo grunge <sighs> giant eyeshadow to glittery sparkle rainbows to I want to be boyish. Okay, I'm known for everything, okay? <clears throat> Basically. And I don't understand why society wants us to fit in with them. Well, okay, next topic, differences. Because I'm, I'm basically going into that. Society says they want you to be different. But honestly, in my opinion, I feel like they don't want you to be. Because there's something about it when you're truly different, you stand out from the crowd, and you're lonely. But when you say you're different, there's honestly... A lot of other people who are different, who are in that social categorized group. Like, I'll draw a little picture. Join me around my room as you ignore my family. <laughs> Aren't they wonderful? Yes, they are. Say up. Be nice. No, be nice. <sighs> okay, I'll be nice. Anyways. Oh, yeah. I got a little foxy. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you, you, all, you don't want to see that. Anyways, so let's just draw a quick little doodle of what... Clipboard! Work with me! Ah! My claw nails are not working! Okay. Pencil. Arr. Okay. So basically, let's just say this little... I'm not going to draw detailed. This... Little person is you, okay? This is you. And you're trying to figure out where you want to go, emo. Popular. 
um, tomboy, or goth, that's a, or any other little subcategories, right? And when you're like, hey, I'm just gonna go over there in this little one, do, 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 do. Okay, so you make your way over to this category. Yay, I'm different. Society, which is these other subculture categories, look upon you like you, WTF, what is this scene? And you're like, let me flip the page around. <clears throat> Flipping the page. Okay. And you're just like, really? I wanted to be different. So then when you think you're truly different, you, you're you like, okay, then how am I supposed to fit in and be different at the same time? We'll find a not, a not very popular subcategory, like let's just say hipster. Hipster. That is a subcategory, which is where hipsters hate everything society likes. And they think, oh, I'm so different because I like this because you don't. And I feel like teenagers are like this. They're like, I just want to be different. Oh, I want to be different. You're not being different. If you truly wanted to be different, you would go into realization like, oh, I'm just trying to fit in. <sighs> okay. So now that I got that out of the way, let's talk about society. Society. There's a probably not going to be words there, but I can try. Because I suck with my editing skills. Anyways. So, society. Today's society is a piece of bullshit. Honest and truly, I do not like today's society. We worship thy cell phone. And the computer. The thing you're using right now to watch me, the thing I'm using, we basically put our lives into, unless if you have an actual life. If you do, click off this video. Go outside and enjoy the weather. Unless if it's really crappy weather, then drink hot chocolate and play with some Legos. Do something that will make your mind better. Because you want to know what I think? I know there's some pros and cons to this, but I think people should have never invented the telephone. People should have never invented Wi-Fi because people actually did stuff with their life. Because how did those people create that? They had to have done something besides watch videos. <sighs> I mean, I'm looking at this at a deeper level than what most people would look at it. Like, oh, but having the new iPhone whatever is popular and we all need to have one back again if you truly wanted to be different you wouldn't have these things and i mean it's like this first world problems is part of society oh my god i i ordered the iphone 7 gold but i got the iphone 4 6 silver instead and i want my money back Dude, just be happy that you have a phone. At least you're not a kid starving in Africa, having skin and bones, basically, no food, and you're working. Like, literally, I did an article, oh, moving around. I did an article in, what was it, my social studies class, saying how kids from 6 to 12, and sometimes younger, are working in chocolate factories. Okay, so let's say I got this Hershey bar. But I, they didn't have the regular chocolate, and there's only dark chocolate now. And I'm thinking, you know that some little kid across the world in a third world country made that chocolate for you to shove in your face. What is life? I mean, seriously. People take things for granted. Like, oh... I want a bigger house. Well, at least you have a house. Some people are probably shivering cold outside. And when I was younger, I used to think when you're homeless, you that you're in the alleyway and you're cold and you're shaking and you're with a family. That's what I thought. But no, homeless, the true definition of homeless. Here, hold up. I'll go look it up on something. I need to find something to look it up on. Here. Yo, Dad. I'm using, you're not in here. 
Dad, I'm gonna use your phone for the definition of homeless. Okay, Sam. Oh, whoops. Huh? I forget. He updated his phone. I should just be using a dictionary. Ha! 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 Hypocrite! Theory, what is the definition of homeless? Homeless means of a person or that home and therefore typically living on the streets. So would people in Africa be considered homeless? Let me check that. Okay, I found this on the web for so would people in Africa be considered homeless. Some people, right here, this is just the first top article called South Africa's Homeless Population, SASA. Even more, in some areas of South Africa, many people are homeless and do not have the blank, 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 key factors that can contribute to South Africa's homeless. Global Homeless Statistics Homeless World Cup. Donate to the Homeless World Cup, Africa, Asia, Oceania. Homeless. Homeless people are known to commit crimes and to be <clears throat> South Africa. Okay. In an average, how many homeless people are there in the world right now? Let me think about that. Okay, I found this on the web. For average, how many homeless people are there in the world right now? Donate to the Homeless World Cup, like I said. There are... There were 28% homeless people, real areas, and 20%... So let's just add that up. That would be 48% of the world is homeless right now. And you're complaining about having a roof over your head. Or getting the new newest phone. <sighs> Thank you, Dad, for letting me use your phone for some useful information for the world to understand. I mean, I can understand we're like, oh, I don't have enough money to feed my family. Don't mind my bathroom. It's ugly in there. It's ugly. <clears throat> oh my god, my room is so ugly. I need to stop. <laughs> Anyways, before I continue ranting about this, which I would love to, if you guys would support me. <clears throat> oh my god, if you totally like and subscribe to my channel, you'll totally like get a new iPhone. It's just no. If you want to subscribe, you can. If you want to like this video, you can. If you want to dislike, you can. If you want to share this, you can. You have your rights out there, people. You have your rights. Don't pay attention to me. What you want, okay? And I'll go into more LGBT topics later. This was a very brief... Yeah, anyways. So, if you like this, like, poster, anyways. <laughs> if you like this, subscribe. Thank you. Wait, before I leave... Quick shout out. I love you, Mom. I got the letter you sent me. I hung it up on my door so I can always think about you. I'll read it. No, I don't know. I don't know. Bye.